zucchini spaghetti with enduya. If you want to make a vegetarian version of this dish, you can substitute Calabrian chili paste. Same effect. This you use a couple of tablespoons, tops. This you use four to five ounces, okay? So four or five ounces of the Induya paste, which we're gonna thin, that's why it's sitting in a bowl with a whisk, or two tablespoons of Calabrian paste. For the zucchini, the larger the zucchini, the more the water content, of course, because of the seeds in the center. So if you're using a large zucchini, because it's seasonal right now, cut it down the middle and scrape all of that seed and center out and thinly slice the zucchini, okay? If you're using firm, small zucchini, you can use a mandolin or the large uh, slot side, the single slot side of your box grater or a mandolin, of course. Um, and I uh, ordered from Chef's Garden, a wonderful online resource, these beautiful little baby zucchini. So if you're using baby zucchini, you need 10 to 12. Of course, you're gonna get a big flavor punch from using lemon zest, or this is what I prefer to use. This is preserved lemon, and I cut off the outside of the lemon. I leave a tiny bit of the flesh, actually. I don't just take the peel, I use a tiny bit of the flesh. I just cut away the core and discard that because it's full of membrane and pits. I also reserved one of the little pickled chilies from the preserved lemon. We have mint, basil, and parsley. I chopped a pile of that and we've got about one full cup of herbs ready to go. Olive oil for medium to medium high heat. And in goes all of our zucchini when it ripples. And we're gonna let this lightly brown. So now we're going to take, even before we cook the pasta, I'm gonna take some of this boiling water, about a cup, and I'm gonna add that to the sausage paste, to the andouille. And we're gonna melt this paste while the pasta's cooking and try and get our whisk through it ultimately. Now we're going to add our lemon and our garlic to our zucchini. And we're gonna drop our spaghetti or lemon spaghetti, this is our lemon spaghetti, into our boiling salted water. So see what happens? All of that sausage paste literally melts and becomes, well, quite frankly, hot sausage sauce. So I add that to my zucchini. Always, always, we reserve some starchy cooking water, right? Drain our spaghetti, or in this case, lemon spaghetti. And we're going to add it to our spicy sauce. This one's based in Induya. The Induya is sausage paste. So if I was going to make the vegetarian version of this, I would sprinkle in a teaspoon or so of smoked paprika to mimic the flavor of that sausage paste. We can add a little starchy cooking water as needed to marry this. And we're gonna put in all but just a small handful of our cup of herbs, mint, parsley, basil combined and all of our cheese, about three quarters to one cup of Parmigiano or Parmigiano combined with Pecorino. And then we turn, turn, turn. This is why we always undercook pasta by one minute because we have carryover cooking when we're tossing it all together in the pan. I would serve it right from the pan. It's the last of our herb mixture. 